So get this. I'm in Toys R Us, looking around at some stuff, and I see they've got, at 28 cents a pack, what they've referred to as entertainment cards. And what do I find in the midst of all of those? Only a shit ton of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie cards. So let's take a look at these. This is fucking cool. Six cards. Let's see what we've got. Pack number one. I got eight of them. Eight packs. So, uh, let's see what we got here. Zombie Moms. While Ooze makes kids hyper and out of control, it makes their parents spaced out blank robots. Ivan Ooze's plan seems to be going off without a hitch. Nice. What else we got here? Gargoyle Guard. Exploding from the face of the monolith are four gargoyles brandishing sharp knives. They aim to protect the monolith and stop the ninjas in their tracks. Cool. An Ooze Man. Thank goodness there's only one Ivan Ooze, but when Ivan wants to be everywhere at once, he summons his squad of Ooze Men to do his dirty work. Mordant. Now here's a guy with absolutely nothing going for him. He's a real pig if ever there was one. Mordant's one lament is that his mother never made him change his underwear. Poor guy. To the monolith! Tommy and Kimberly. Cool. Tommy and Kimberly look onward to the monolith, heavily guarded against intruders. It houses the great power they were sent to Phaedos to find. Cool. And coffee break. Hey look, it's uh, Apocalypse. Yeah, I know, that joke's old. While the zombie parents continue to dig for the ectomorphicons, Ivan Ooze breaks up his boredom by enjoying a hot beverage. Awesome. Alright, pack two. Pack two. What do we got? Group Concern. After giving a brief history on Ivan Ooze's reign of terror and the great peril they now face because of Ivan's return, Zordon dispatches the Power Rangers to the construction, construction site to investigate. Cool. Oh. Got a casting call card. Jason David Frank, or just Jason Frank. Jason became interested in martial arts when he was four years old. He's now a certified fourth degree black belt and expert in, set in all seven major styles of martial arts. Cool. <laughs> Tommy rules. I mean, it's basically the catchphrase for the whole thing. Man, what is going on with my lighting here? Never one to sit around and watch the world pass him by, Tommy gets psyched for any challenge. This time he skyboards into Angel Grove for a charity fundraiser. Cool. Kimberly. Because of her prowess in cheerleading and gymnastics, Kimberly makes a perfect selection as a Power Ranger. These skills allow her to jump or flip her way out of any situation. Aw, oh, sweet Lord Zed. Man, movie Lord Zed was so much shinier. Once thought of as the most evil ruler of the universe, Lord Zed must now take a back seat to Ivan Ooze. Make no mistake, he's not happy about it. And finally, the Boneyard. Or, you know, just Boneyard. The ninjas reach a field of skeletons. Enormous ribs and skulls are scattered all over this dark section of the Neola jungle. I should watch this movie again. I haven't seen it in a while. I haven't. I just, you know, I haven't watched it in a while. Alright, pack number three. Dulcia's Wisdom. Satisfied with the transformation, Dulcia explains to be in a har to be in harmony with the sacred spirits with a sacred spirit and the, is to have the force of the Ninjetti. For those who know the Ninjetti, anything is possible. Cool. Fred. A kid who knows better. Fred refuses to ooze. He pretends he's on the stuff to infiltrate Ivan Ooze's army of idiots and help the Power Rangers. What a good kid. We got another ooze man. Triple threat. The ninjas realize that the only way to defeat the gargoyles is to work together. Double and triple teaming the monsters, their new strategy turns the tide. Man, I remember when I double teamed a monster. That's a story for another time. Inline fun! Oh man. Anybody remember the 90s? When this shit was cool? 
I don't even think it was that cool back then, but, you know, whatever. The Power Rangers are doing it. The teens love to keep busy, trying new and fun things together. This time, they're as fast as lightning on inline skates. Pretty sure that's not how you actually spell lightning. That is how you spell lightning, as in you have... As, as in what my light keeps doing here. It keeps, like, darkening and then lightening. Not sure why. Hyperlock chamber. You know, I always thought the thing actually looked kind of cool. The construction workers, curious about the purple steam pouring out of a newly discovered hole, are shocked when a menacing claw cradling a huge stone egg rises up from the ground. Okay, there we go with that lightning again. Pack four. That just tore right off the top there, didn't it? Ooze loves ya, baby. The ooze in the stone egg boils, froths, rises up, and then takes on the ghastly shape of Ivan Ooze. After stretching and cracking his neck, he announces, Ladies and gentlemen, the ooze is back. Cool. Rita Repulsa. Movie version. Nasty Rita Repulsa makes life most unpleasant for the Power Rangers. Actually, she doesn't play favorites. She makes life unpleasant for husband Lord Zed, too. Wicked Wizard. Guys and girls, girls and guys, gather around and feast your eyes. I promise you, I promise you all, you just can't lose with your own supply of Ivan's ooze. The Blue Ninja. Hey, look, it's Billy. Billy stands proud, adorned in his ninja outfit. He is the wolf, cunning and swift. And out of focus. Damn, son. Well, whatever. It's Billy. Yay. Point of no return. Get it? Because he's pointing. Bestowed with many evil powers, Ivan Ooze can outdo even the most despicable deeds of Lord Zed and Rita Repulsa. Now Ivan's about to give Zed and Rita a little of their own medicine. Anything's possible. Kimberly shines when she realizes the great power has begun to heal Zordon. When all else failed, the great power truly is a success. Man, I'm loving these cards. Bringing back so many memories. Ah. I really should go watch that movie again. Next pack. Heads up. Got another Kimberly card. Unable to morph into a Power Ranger, Kimberly prepares for a showdown with the Tengu Warriors, armed only with her gymnastic skills as her defense. I mean, against the, you know, Tengus, that's not that bad. Purple Pain. Still, movie Goldar, looking kind of cool. Bathed in the purple sheen emitted from the open egg, Goldar waits to welcome the one and only Ivan Ooze. Seriously, some of the costumes they had for the movie I actually really enjoyed. Got another Ooze, man. Got another casting call card. This time it's Johnny Young Bosch. That's awesome. Johnny's impressive martial arts skills are largely self-taught from years of practicing on his own. He's received trophies in each of the seven tournaments he participated in. That's cool. Also a good voice actor. You know, just, just saying. Zordon needs us. So here's the thing. Zordon's supposed to be like trapped in a time warp or whatever, so he can only communicate through that big fucking tube where he's a floating head in a jar or whatever. But then in the movie, they like break the jar at some point, and he's just a bald old dude laying in a bunch of crystals. The fuck was up with that? With the power gone, and no time warp to sustain... Okay, so the time warp is sustaining him? But then... Eh, whatever. Zordon ages quickly. Alpha sends the teens to the planet Phaedos, where they must find the master warrior who holds the secret of the great power. Finally, swift kick. Tommy executes even the most difficult martial arts moves with effortless grace. One swift kick from his high stepping t from this high stepping teen, and it's ta ta to some tengus. I just finished watching the third season of the show, so I'm used to the tengas, which were the tengus, just with their feathers all ruffled up. Next up, the ooze man cometh. On pack six now. Is that really pack six? Yeah, pack six. Cool. Come one, come all. To the ooze, free for all. 
Take it home in boxes. Take it home in cases. If your parents try to stop you, then just throw it in their faces. Man, I forgot that he rhymed so much in that fucking movie. Goodbye, I'll see ya. It saves the Power Rangers board of confidence. Your sacred animals will be your guide. The Rangers look on as she transforms into an owl and flies away. I actually don't remember that part at all. I really am going to have to go watch this movie again. Checklist 2. Cool. Okay. Have a checklist. Huzzah. Ninja Leader. Tommy gets ready to attack the giant skeleton. A fancy block and a couple of roundhouse kicks later, and the skeleton decides to go after someone else. It's because, you know... You, 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 just, you don't fuck with Tommy. That's just kind of how it goes. Anybody who did in that show, well, see how they ended up. Lackey Charms. God damn it. These fucking cards, man. <laughs> There's nothing charming about two-faced evil space aliens. Goldar and Mordant have become lackeys for Ivan Ooze after seeing Rita Repulsa and Lord Zed's frigid fate. I'm going to have to, like, set, a, set aside some of these cards that are just puns and go with it. Distraction. Kimberly and Billy distract the giant skeleton creature long enough for Tommy to devise a plan. Probably just involve kicking it. Pack seven. What do we got going on pack seven? We've got the Red Ranger. You know... Like, I I both do and don't like the movie suits at the same time. Like, I'm used to, like, the, the Sentai suits, the Zhu Ranger suits that they used for filming and whatnot, but these ones with, like, the extra armor and stuff, like, I don't know. Sometimes I think they look really cool. Sometimes I think they look really stupid. It's really weird that they can do both for me. Red is Rocky's favorite color, until he becomes the Blue Ranger. Why? Because as the Red Ranger, he's ready for anything. Uh, uh, anything I have news serves up. Villains everywhere, heads up. Cool. What else we got? Ooze Salute. <laughs> uh, oh, that's fucking terrible. You may have heard the phrase, looks can be deceiving. I'm sure that once you've all tried it, I'll have you all believing. Again with the damn rhyming. Why do I, why do I not remember any of that from the movie? <sighs> Party's over. Except I've still got one pack of cards after this, so no, it's not yet. Ha, good try. Ooze out, oozed out kids listen intently to Fred's inspirational speech. Slowly, they realize that Ivan Ooze has been using all of Angel Grove in his plans to conquer the world. You know, as you do. Upper Decker. Climbing the monolith, Rocky tries to gain the best vantage point to inflict the most damage on the gargoyles. Even from on high, this ninja can't compete with the monsters made of stone. Man, I just, I just watched an episode of Zeo where Rocky was, like, a total waste of space, so it really speaks to me. Snowed in! Sick of their constant bickering and utter uselessness, Ivan Ooze banishes Rita Repulsa and Lord Zed into a snow globe. When, with Rita and Zed out of the way, it's anything goes for Ivan. Nice to meet you. And nice to meet you, too, whoever you are, Pigman. Finally meeting the great Ivan Ooze, Lord Zed evokes a request. I want you to destroy Zordon so that my evil may once again reign supreme. Yeah, that, that, that looks like it went well for you, buddy. And the final pack of cards that I picked up. There's still some at the Toys R Us I picked these up from. And, I mean, they're 28 cents each. I may have to go back and get some more because I'm actually quite enjoying these. Rocky and Adam. The best defense is a good offense. Rocky and Adam strike an, offen strike an offensive pose, and I find that pose totally offensive, in order to defend themselves and the rest of the teens from the vicious Tengu Warriors. Anybody else find that pose offensive? No? Just me? Okay. Strange Discovery. Puzzled by the strange-looking strange alien skeleton, the teens don't know what to think. No time to worry about this, though. They've got to find the great power. Fast. Red Ninja. Dulcia turns, Rock, turns to Rocky and points to the animal symbol on his chest. She explains how the Red Ninja will wear the emblem of the mighty ape, powerful and smart. Which explains why when he's the Blue Zero Ranger, he no longer is. 
Balkan Skull. I'm very happy that there's a Balkan Skull card. I mean, I, obviously there would be. I'm just happy I got it. What can you say about these guys? A lot, actually. But if they didn't have each other, they'd have no one. That's kind of sad. Their biggest common interest, besides detention, is trying to find out who the Power Rangers are. I usually really like those guys. Ninjetti Stone. The carved images on the massive stone represent the animal spirits of the Ninjetti. These are the spirits who will guide the ninjas to success in finding the great power. Even though they're from another planet, they're somehow Earth animals. Sorry. Forget that part. <laughs> friend or foe? Not knowing if the mysterious woman is, friend, is a friend or foe, the teens are sure of only one thing. Any help they can get to defeat the Tengu warriors, they'll take. Awesome, so that's eight packs of uh, Power Rangers movie cards. I'm going to go find like a binder or something to put all these in, you know, like the old days. So, uh, that's cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we will uh, see you next time. Maybe I'll, you know, unpack something else or take another look at something cool. But, uh, look forward to it.